There are many enhancements when working with beam elements in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2012. Let's look at the structure of this jib crane. Firstly, beam elements are now supported in linear dynamics studies. Previously we could only use solid and shell elements. Using beams on a problem like this will make it much smaller and, sim and quicker to solve. There's also a lot more automation now when using beam elements. Firstly, if we look at the uh, details of any of these beams, you'll see that this, all of the section properties are now calculated and filled in. Previously, some of these would have had to have been calculated and entered manually. And this works with any section profile, whether it's one that you've created yourselves or chosen from the library. Next, wherever we've got a beam element that contacts a solid or shell, it's now the contact is created automatically. Previously, we'd have had to have defined one manually for each of the ends of these beams where they touch the solid. So the only one that's required on this particular problem is for the underside of the main beam where it contacts the brace. If we look at the mesh on this problem, you'll notice a couple of things. Firstly, the mesh is now displayed on the original section shape rather than just a simple cylinder that was used before. But perhaps more importantly, that same section shape is now imprinted onto the solid or the shell mesh which the beam contacts. This will make the stress is the stress is much more accurate in the local regions around the ends of the beams. So if we look at the von Mises stress on this example, we can see how that's affected the results. Finally, if we look at the displacement results, again we'll see how they are now displayed on the original section shapes, making it much easier to visualise what's going on. So hopefully all of these enhancements combined will make it much easier and quicker to work with beam elements in 2012.